Hi, uh, welcome back to Colts KRC. So a few days ago I posted the conclusion video, this will be flight video, so not, not really a conclusion video because there's still stuff I want to do with it. Uh, and I've just been out flown it again, hence why it's got this sticky mess on the front. So all I've done is put a, Go, um, a GoPro mount sticker on there, pad, and I've mounted the GoPro sessions to it. I've recorded it in 1080p, 60 frames a second with the stabilisation turned on. No post editing is going to be done in the video. You're going to see it's exactly as it was when it came off the card of this thing. So you're going to see it's still got movement because obviously the drone's got movement. But what you will see from this is, when I spoke the other day about why don't they just make a front that comes off this and have this fit inside this, you're going to see why I said that. Because this video is so much better than the stuff that comes off this so obviously this is going to work so if you've got the bug 4w or if you've got the bug 4w or the sgrc uh, jdrc fx11 is it or this they're all the same drone they're obviously not clones of each other one manufacturer is making them for these three people all they're doing is changing this sticker on the top now Obviously this is an expensive option since these are cheap, these are about, if you can get hold of them, you can buy them refurbished about 140 quid because they don't make it anymore, but they do the GoPro, they do a Runcam 3S, or there's a new Cadex camera coming out, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's 1080, 60 frames a second, made by Cadex, it's like 40 quid, I've got one of them coming, so when that comes out I intend to stick it on the top of one of these as well and test it. And the reason I've done to that lens is because this, the X11 and the Bug 4W are all, I'm presuming they all fly identical and this thing flies superbly well. Because if you could put a 40 quid camera on the front of this thing, you're still going to have something that's far better than most of the stuff on the market because these things fly amazingly well. This has no, I don't know what these weigh. So this weighs about, let's have a look, see how much it weighs and see. It made no difference to it whatsoever. It didn't handle any differently, it didn't change its battery life. Or it didn't appear to change its battery life anyway, so let's see what this weighs. So the GoPro weighs 71.5 grams, so I've stuck 71.5 grams on the front, a sticky pad might weigh a gram, and it's made no difference to the weight look. It obviously will have a difference on flight time if I was going through a full battery on it, but it'll be minimal. And all I wanted to do was just to see what it did look like. So it's only a three minute video that's coming up, I've chopped it down, I'm not going to throw a full video on here. So you've only got one little flight that I did, it was three, three and a half minutes long. You're going to see the clarity coming from this thing. This is a very good camera, don't get me wrong. But it's going to show you how well this thing flies. The props have been shot slightly because obviously this is how I mounted it. I should have, if, when I put the caddix on the front, I'll probably engineer something that'll go up here to hold it up and the caddix will go at a slight angle to go downhill. And we'll see what that looks like with a cheaper camera. So thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up